Hey there, hi there, it's me, Priscilla B, and this is my reading for Aquarius. This is your weekly reading. Um, so first up, we have your Goddess Knowledge card, and this is like Goddess Energy that you're channeling right now, and this is the Eagle Woman. Despite the fact that the life-giving and death-wielding bird goddess is one of the oldest representations of the goddess, eagles have usually been linked with the mas masculine, with a few exceptions. The Sphinx of Egypt had the wings of an eagle, and the Aztec goddess Chilcotl was also called woman. This eagle woman shows a new marriage of the feminine and the eagle. She represents all an eagle stands for. Spirit, valor, majesty. Uh, majesty, renewal, accuracy of sight, spiritual aim, and ability to soar to the heights. She also holds in her hands a vessel, the traditional symbol for the feminine, for that which receives, contains, and nourishes. Here, both sets of values are joined emblematic of a different combination of strengths that are part of being woman born. Eagle Woman is a joyful affirmation of our ability to break out of the millennial old stereotypes and find a new definition. That embraces the entire continuum of being alive. She teaches that women can express the qualities of the eagle while continuing to contain and nurture. And that is the eagle woman, goddess energy um, for this reading that you're channeling, dear Aquarius. Let's see what the fairy messages are for you today. So we have um, come together. Wow, this is such a good one. Like the Beatles song, Come Together, that song from the Beatles. So I'm just getting that. Um, fairies like to be busy, and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. Wow. So like that is so true. So working together. So you're definitely working together with someone. Um, you know, um, the famous Aquarius symbol is like uh, the um, female pouring out the pitcher and everything. So you got bumblebees here. You have springs coming in. You see bumblebees, flowers. There's like a tiny little entranceway down here. Like a lot is going to, on. You're coming together with like your friends and you're having a good time. Um, and you're doing some work, but doing the work together makes everything so much easier and flow better. And we also have celebration. Yeah, so pretty much like um, you're coming together right now with people. You're working together with people. But you're also going to be celebrating at the end of your hard day's work. So, like, at the end of the week, you know, you go out and you celebrate with your friends and your family. Um, in this picture here, you looks like you're celebrating um, with a man. You're having fun. Your, like, energy is there. Your happiness is there. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. So, if someone is, like, trying is going to be inviting you out somewhere, um possibly or maybe they've already invited you out there or you know maybe this is a hint to like putting yourself out there to be invited places um but either way there's a celebration coming and you're coming together with a group of people um possibly uh co-workers friends family stuff like that okay Alrighty. so let's see here I'm getting strong, like, career vibes right now. I'm feeling like they're really focused on working right now and then celebrating later. Yeah. So we have the Nine of Cups here. Um, we see a lot of cups. Um, you know, um, the, there's diamonds happening. Um, eyes are on the diamonds. Eyes are on the cups coming in. Um two of cups okay wow okay <laughs> That's a lot of cups and uh the moon okay so we need a little bit more clarification i think on this like as far as like where this is going like there you go um let me just see here real quick let's see yeah, I'm getting the sense that, like, you haven't, like, you're harnessing, like, this really 
powerful like moon goddess energy right now and you're just like really like in it to win it like you want to get this moon energy you want to get these cups filled up with lots of like positive energy um like you've got this like you have the moon in the palm of your hand right now. And then the magician. Yeah, see, like, you're touching the the diamonds. Like, you're lighting the way. Like, you are this light energy. You are this moon energy. And you are definitely working hard. But, like, as you can see, you have, like, the two cups. And you're holding on to them. These are two people holding on to cups together in celebration together. So you are... Um, joining together in this celebration um, after your long hard day of work. Of course. Um, yeah, so you have the King of Wands as well. So I feel like this person that you want to like celebrate with and you want to have a good time with, this person is um, definitely um, somebody who's in authority over magic um the magician again like king of wands magic um you know magicians have wands so you have that energy going you also have the hierophant yeah the hierophant represents like religion um like uh piety so i think that like you are dealing with somebody who might like may or may not like um really be like a flexible but like they're very like steadfast in their ways like the pope for instance like this like very holy person so you have like this energy of like magic mixed with this energy of like uh religion let's just clarify that a little bit more yeah the moon energy again you have the moon energy like so basically, you know, with both, with two moon energies here, um, it's like double power, like double, um, concentration coming in here for you and like focus on the feminine energy, moon goddess, feminine energy here. Um, you see there's like a dog howling at the moon. There's a wolf howling at the moon. And then here you have what looks like it could be like a, a scorpion, maybe even a lobster, maybe like coming out of the water and going on this pathway leading into like the mountains and stuff like this. So you have like the sea, the land, you have this, this wild nature, I feel like where, um, getting in tune with the moon energy again, um, you know, and really coming into your power here, Aquarius. Um, and I really feel like, you know, there's this saying like, you're my lobster, which is like basically like you're my soulmate. So I feel like you're looking to this magician, this person who has this magical little nature and you're looking to celebrate with them and you're looking to find your lobster you're looking to find um your soulmate energy um so you have like double moons there which is really interesting <laughs> um so let's see here let's see what the light oracle has to say about all of this oracle energy double moons two moons i mean you guys both could be having a, a moon rising um there's sun moon rising so maybe you guys have both like a lot of like um of this moon energy feminine energy on um, like you know <laughs> uh let There's this, like, um, show called, I think it's called The Wolf in Me or something like that, um, with, uh, Josh Gad in it, and it's a really good show. I won't go into all the details, but basically it's about a single dad, and then, like, he meets this woman, um, who has this, like, um, like, secret and stuff like that, and, like, they start dating, like, it's just really interesting to watch. Let's see what the Light Oracle has to say. Okay, so, play it double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so you're really uplifting people right now like you really are um like helping people like 
get reach like this divine like um like mission um and uplifting them to like feeling better about themselves um and you know like it says earlier with the fairy messages it was saying you know like um come together fairies like to uh, be busy and group and a group of them showing you that many hands make light work well when you're channeling humanity when you're channeling this energy of uplifting humanity you're definitely channeling this energy of like uh helping people come together and we also have lamira creating heaven on earth it's happening yeah see you're creating heaven on earth by channeling and uplifting humanity you're creating heaven on earth right now you're leading the way to this like beautiful utopian wonderful place like you have to help create it right you have to help make it and and help it come into fruitation so how else are you going to do that without coming together with others you know and the moon energy is helping you and guiding you um and the goddess here the eagle woman she's lighting the way for you like she's showing you your strength she's giving you your strength that you need to transform and lead this way um so she's life-giving and death-wielding but you know she's also um marriage and feminine and that's all women energy right there that's all uh moon energy right now the phases and cycles of the moon all pertain to like this female woman uh energy feminine energy and then we have trust the needle what is the needling feeling trying to tell you so this is basically just saying like trust your intuition okay um that's what this means it means that like maybe you're not totally in tune with your intuition right now so what is your feelings trying to tell you like um you're are you missing something right now is there something you need to figure out right now that you're not understanding and yeah it's getting grounded getting grounded empaths highly sensitive connect with nature so you need to like connect with nature you need to connect with like creating this beautiful place C connect with the moon get in tune with your chakras um this is a picture you know you can see that um she's trying to align all of her chakras through meditation by being outside getting grounded um empaths are highly sensitive people who um a bit uh have the ability to sense other people's feelings um connecting with nature really can help calm you and stuff like that so i really feel like you might be an empath and you might be highly sensitive um to like other people's feelings so it's kind of hard for you to like really stay grounded sometimes but once you get grounded you're gonna be able to channel this uplifting energy of like uplifting humanity and like helping connect with others and you're really also going to be creating heaven on earth it's happening okay um i don't know how religious you are um if you're watching tarot card reading videos you might not be like super religious um but it's okay though because like spirituality and religion can sometimes um, be like misinterpreted so like maybe you did grow up in like a super religious household maybe um, you weren't allowed to like connect with your spirituality and your your chakras and your you know all of that and your feelings so much because of like this um, you know constant religious pressure to like do religious stuff and not spirituality stuff like that but like again you know the moon energy is here to save you the moon energy is here to light the path for you ahead um it's here to guide you and channel you to the right direction um uh, aquarius and you have two double moon energies right now so like you're you're really getting in line here with like um your moon energy and you're speaking and these are like lips right so they're red lipstick lips right um so like you know you might be thinking of like oh i'm gonna go outside i'm gonna go celebrate i'm gonna put my red lipstick on i'm gonna go have fun i'm gonna go have a great amazing day today and you deserve it and you should go and do that and you should go hang out with your king of wands because i feel like this is somebody um a masculine person that wants to hang out with you and wants to show you more of like what the magician is all about what that is all about um and channeling that energy again into like more of like 
cheering, you know, two glasses of wine, you know, um, you know, you have all this double moon energy right now. So it's important for you to like really harness that and focus on that right now and go celebrate and have some fun. Okay. Cause you have a great, amazing time week ahead of you. Okay. Okay. Aquarius. All right. So go have some fun. Enjoy. Have a wonderful, blessed, um, week and love and light always. Bye. Can I turn the video off? <laughs>